Can you feel it? Yes. I can feel you it. You can feel it. I can feel um, it. What's the level of energy that you're showing, you know, in your business, how you're showing up mm-hmm. for, for clients, for yourself? It's really important um, to show these energy levels and your excitement. It, it reflects all things real estate. everyone welcome back to our episode at in the house podcast i'm your co-host jenny woon i'm tony singh and we have a awesome inspiring topic for today is name your superpower what every successful real estate agent possesses listen we've you and i we've been in the business combined we're old school Uh, what's your v number (laughs) we're just old (laughs) just mine's a v35 number um (laughs) mine's a v6 okay yeah so you did start before me yes Mm -hmm. but that makes me feel really old when i'm comparing it to the rest of the team and to my mastermind group. my office is a v1 Oh, okay. we've been around for a long time. Yeah, you're dinosaurs. So we you, are dinosaurs. So you know a thing or two about real estate. <laughs> uh, so combined two of us. Yeah, uh, we've been in the business for over t- 35 years. Mm-hmm. And we've on this podcast alone, we've interviewed tons of top producers who have been in the business from five from five years in the business 40 years in the business yeah we've coached some fantastic real estate coaches um we've interviewed them and they're from canada from vancouver from the states um we've asked them what their spirit animal is Mm -hmm. we've asked them what traits they need to every woman leader needs to possess possess to succeed in this business Mm -hmm. and i think at this point in time it's really good for us to turn the tables around and really be self-aware and be mindful to identify our own strengths and the deficiencies yeah the, that we have and also as well. giving ourselves permission to improve on them that's and right accept them accept acknowledge and improve of course And not that you have to be a master at everything. I think in this business, we tend to try to wear a lot of hats. And the only hat, ultimately, what you should be wearing is the CEO CEO hat. Um, But after interviewing all these hosts, Mm -hmm. there is a commonality between all of them. And I want to call it superpower. For this episode, we're going to call it superpower. Okay. The reason is, is because it's strength. It's mastering your skill um what they have in common is that they're a very aware of what their superpower is and they're not afraid to magnify it, not afraid to expose it they definitely all have clarity on their competitive advantage mm-hmm. so that's the first step and secondly is acknowledging um where they're at with that skill and if they're going to lean into it and they're going to own it so that they can be wildly successful mm-hmm. um, and knowing that that's what's going to get them far and few between the, the 14,000 other agents that are out there trying to be different. That's right. I guess the final um, point for how to magnify your superpower could be making a decision and stepping into your power, right? Make a decision to commit to it, work on it, nurture it i want to give an example yeah give an Um, example ryan sirhan so in my book club we've read uh two of his books in a row um first one is sell it sell it like sirhan Mm -hmm. second one is big money energy i've never read that uh yeah it's good it's really good (laughs) and it actually i liked it better than the first one i think the first one was more like if you're getting into the industry here's the here are the you know um, basic like 101 things that you need to know didn't really get into too deep of so it was a very good overall book but big money energy was a lot of examples and a lot of um, how he curated his brand so that um, he stood out 
mm-hmm. amongst the rest of the agents. And so I wanted to mention him because he took ownership of his white hair. So I know this is more of a physical attribute, but I'll get into the, the other skills that he has. But he was so embarrassed of his white skin against his white hair. Mm-hmm. Um, at a young age, he started having gray hair. And so yep. it actually worked to his benefit his his superpower was to show that even though he didn't really know much about real estate getting into real like when he first got into it his gray hair allowed him to make himself look older yeah and so he he basically played the the part and he was also coming out of acting he played the part of um learning on the fly and um kind of fake it till you make it is what I kind of gathered mm. in, from his book. Okay, interesting. Thank you for that example. <laughs> what are some examples of a superpower? Yeah, let's let's identify a superpower is mm-hmm. is a skill. It's it's um, what makes you different and yeah, so unique. Yeah. So these are some examples where you can stand out from the rest of the crowd, and afterwards. Um, I would love to share, like, you know, what I want you to share what your superpower is to our audience. Okay, and, and you will share yours as well. Okay. Yeah. So first one is you're setting audacious, ambitious goals. Yeah, you definitely, you're inspired to go out and take the right actions to meet your goals. And this is going to require a certain level of commitment, right? Mm-hmm. Commitment and follow through. So your weekly, monthly, yearly five-year plan goals um that's important act it out act it out and uh light the fire secondly is creating extreme high standards of excellence there's no such thing as perfectionism but there's progress and so if you have a high level of excellence and you're maintaining that specific standard set them as your principles and you refuse to take anything that less than that excellence and so what that means is that um, maybe you have to have a certain amount of dollar in your checkings account for me I hate paying I mean this sounds very thrifty or frugal of me, but I hate paying the banking f- account fees, mm, like me too. fifteen dollars or five dollars or twenty nine dollars, whatever they charge a month if you're below this threshold. So I always maintain a certain number so that I avoid paying that fee. And I don't know if that's a superpower, but what I'm trying to say is you, you're setting a standard of excellence. You're setting a standard and you're maintaining that so that you're not falling behind. Yeah, that's very important. Uh, another example can be the. A uh, goal of number of listings that you want to have at any given time for sales. Mm, yes. Without that, um, you're absolutely going to get distracted if, if you're not focused on your habits and, and productivity. Yeah, for sure. And that's the thing. You just kind of said it. The third point would be um, to the ability to eliminate distractions. This is a really important one. I think we're all plagued by it at some point or another I definitely have been in the past Um, but basically you want to eliminate distractions and uh, figure out what makes you extraordinary and you also want to focus on your most productive habits Mm. and curate those to to be a regular regular consistent thing so like income generating tasks yeah income generating behaviors for sure Um, prospecting yeah Um, role playing role playing Mm -hmm. continually working on your database lead follow-up follow through converting Um, appointments absolutely and always be negotiating always be negotiating for sure negotiating someone's business negotiating contracts negotiating um commission negotiating yeah uh, can i your say whole something life, about this? your whole life you're negotiating i was going to say the best negotiators are kids we're talking about real estate and business right now right in this theme but kids are the best negotiators that i've ever seen my son particularly mm-hmm. he's always negotiating mommy um when i come from home home from school can i have a pocky <laughs> like, uh, well, did you eat all your lunch? Um, well, I ate most of it, but how about I have a pocky right now and then I have some more on my lunch before dinner? 
<laughs> well, how about you just eat your healthy lunch right now? Yeah, I, I could, but you know what happened is that it got too busy at lunchtime and I was playing, so I didn't finish it. So I could I could I have the Pocky now? <laughs> this is a conversation from yesterday. He won, okay? I'm ashamed to say it. He won. <laughs> but as an example. <laughs> uh, another point would be huge levels of enthusiasm. Can you feel it? Yes. I can feel you it. You can feel it. I can feel um, it. What's the level of energy that you're show, you know, in your business, how you're showing up mm -hmm. for, for clients, for yourself? It's really important um, to show these energy levels and your excitement. It, it reflects all things real estate, negotiations, um, the art of sales, uh, your enthusiasm with speaking and helping, uh, speaking to and helping clients. So make sure you're eating healthy meals. Very important. You're exercising. It'll just bring the, those endorphins levels up. Yeah. Um, it'll increase your cogn cognitivity as well. Yeah. So your ability to take in information, absorb it, change it into something that is productive. Um, always have this energy around you because you'll just attract this business. <laughs> Haven't I called you on a run before? Yes. You have? Yeah, oh, yeah I was running. Jenny, I'm an going idea. for a walk and I thought of something. I'm like, okay, yeah, what is it? <laughs> okay, another great uh, tip here. Yes. Uh, make decisions that are based on quantifiable, measurable numbers. Mm. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, if you want to actually um, hold a sustainable business for the long term, like we all do, we want to be able to track and measure everything mm -hmm. i'm i'm saying down to the number of calls you're making down to the number of appointments you're you're securing the numbers don't lie it's this business is all about a formula and then what you're doing is repeating and scaling repeating and scaling and so when the numbers make sense why not replicate it mm -hmm. you're going to replicate something that works because you're what you're doing is working on your business by tracking the results measuring that data making better informed decisions for the business absolutely probably the one of the most important tips actually yeah so those are if you really want to hone in the sales skill of being a super, super powerful salesperson, these are some of the steps that you need to take. For sure. So let us let me ask you, mm -hmm. Jenny, what would your superpower be and can you explain it for our listeners? Yeah, um, I would say not what others think of me are not of any of my concern. Yeah, I can say for sure that you believe that. And I and, and it's practice true. it. It's true. Practice she practices it. it. Yeah, I'm not able to, I'm I'm really good at handling um I'm able to handle like emotional disappointments and quickly bounce back from losses or or be mentally prepared for anything that didn't happen. And so for me it's like okay, well if this opportunity didn't happen, that means that a bigger opportunity is going to happen in the near future. And it's it, a great it way just to look at it. Didn't allow. It's not the right timing for that for that to, to happen, or maybe it just didn't work out for a client or a, a buyer. Um, but there's a bigger reason behind it, and so let allow it to unfold, and don't beat yourself down with it. So I've never, mm -hmm. you know, judged myself. I've never been hard on myself. I have been. I mean, I've gotten better with it recently. Mm -hmm. So I resonate with what you're saying. But yeah, it's a totally different mindset to mm -hmm. be in that space. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. How about yours? What's your superpower that you bring to the table? Well, I have traits that lead, I guess, to my superpower. So certain traits, I mean, if you guys have been listening to the podcast, you could probably guess anyhow. Uh, I tend Honesty, to be for sure. very honest. Mm -hmm. And again, sometimes that does not work in my favor, but I'm okay with that because um, if somebody asks for me to be honest, they've then given me permission, right? Mm -hmm. And I can't just say what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. That's not who I am. And so, for example, in business, if, if someone had asked for my opinion on something and I gave them my honest opinion on it, it might not always be a good fit because sometimes people don't want to hear my version of we all have versions of the truth right um and that's okay i'm okay with that i'm okay with letting unaligned business go mm -hmm. it's not meant for me kind of what you're saying too it's just mm -hmm. not meant for me right now and i think it's really important 
to not be afraid of failure. So there's that book by John C. Maxwell. I pretty sure uh, failing forward have you read that one i haven't it's great because if you look at failures as opportunities or something that you can learn from that'll set you up for the next big thing which is what you had said right you get into a space of creating something great Mm. where you're not afraid um, of a glass ceiling or any type of boundary and in that space anything is possible so i guess there you have it superpower would be knowing that anything is possible and I think that that relates directly into my business because this year for example I've been able to take on new business where maybe an average person wouldn't have thought that the client would have had a certain result right and I literally things had to align like maybe 10 different things had to align but I still took the business on right and it worked Mm -hmm. it worked so yeah that's uh possibilities opportunity Mm. does that Mm. make sense yeah okay channeling opening that uh that up here are some ways if you're unaware Mm. of Of what your your superpower is is, because you haven't done that that subconsciousness a self subconsciousness exercise of um, exploring yourself and and that introspective work Mm -hmm. um and it's okay you haven't maybe you're working on that skill here are some ways and some steps to being able to identify and magnify these superpowers so Mm -hmm. first of all if you're go back to the last five six deals that you've done and write out or type out why you won those last five deals and it cannot be because the home was priced well because the home had a nice walk-in closet or because you priced it well so what in your participation in that transaction was that the contributing factor Mm -hmm. that made that deal happen how did you personally make a difference in that deal to work out that is such a fun exercise so look at all the common denominators and that is your superpower my friend (laughs) i love that that's so good (laughs) what do you do with that no it's good it's good it's true because i'm really present to you right now i mean going walking them through these three tips so how they can figure out their own superpower this just resonates with me on what my superpower is and i said it's creating and seeing possibility and opportunity mm-hmm. where someone might not mm-hmm. I'll, I'll tell you like f- f- after doing all these deals mm-hmm. i know that the reason why i've um able to emotionally detach mm-hmm. from these deals is because it's not my money so yeah. i can my my job is to tell them the value of the home but at the end of the day their how they value money and how they spend it is up to them so i give them the stats that's my job but how it's negotiated and by the instructions of my client i have to separate that from if they're going to overspend if they want to spend oh, more yeah. than my recommended uh, price. I see what you're saying. Right? I see what so you're saying. So I'm just mm-hmm. trying to say I'm separating the emotional side of the spending of money to um, what my superpower is, you know. Yeah, that, that makes total sense. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, tip number two. Yeah. So after you've identified um, that superpower from those previous deals, what you want to do is, well, how do you enhance it? Mm. Yeah. How do you take it to the next level? So um, define an action plan. So write out an action plan on how you're going to continue um, multiplying that superpower so that you're you're just getting better at what you do. So let's give an example then as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking that something like something that someone could do is just work on their mindset even too, right? To strengthen Mm -hmm. their ability to tap into the superpower. Mm -hmm. Um, They, they're, they may be really good at um, lifting up people's spirits about the whole process of home buying, for example. Yeah. Because it can be a daunting task. It could be overwhelming. It could be a lot. Um, And some people may not have time to, to um, take that on as part of their life Mm -hmm. um, because they're so busy with work and their family Um, but um, yeah that will be to strengthen it yeah yeah that's a good idea to bring that enthusiasm into the picture okay and then final tip to magnify your superpower 
Uh, third one is take on um, take on current the, the current deals that you're working on, any negotiations that you're working on, the clients that you're currently working with. Mm-hmm. Um, you use that superpower to position and win those deals, and that way. Every time a deal happens and every time a win happens, it's it's solidifying the fact that it is your superpower. It is it is the skill that will be the important factor that will help you through your career. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that's good actionable strategies really for tap finding your own superpower and then definitely um, making your relationship with the the superpower stronger so that it can just be a regular part of your business setting you up for success and your clients for success right it's not all about you or us right Mm -hmm. it is about the client so you really want to have a look at that and always make it about the client Um, you'll always be successful if that's really the case yeah and and in fact when you're um, utilizing this superpower and the whole point is to scale and repeat and Mm -hmm most of your clients will recommend you because of this specific skill that you have, the skill set that no other agent will have. And so if you're able to enhance this and and your clients recognize this and they're going to re, um, rec- refer you to their friends who are pretty much similar in the same like demographic. I'm glad you said that. That's important. It, yeah, it's it's um it's going to manifest on its own. Yes. I hope so you guys I, lis- enjoyed listening today. I think it's and it's okay to to like appoint a superpower because you got to own it, you know? Yeah, and I love the way that we're talking about this a bit differently, right? Than like competitive advantage. They're basically the same thing, but we're taking it one step further. Yeah, you know, okay, this is very different from charisma, mm-hmm. grit. It's 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 something It's a different element it's that's different, added in. Absolutely. Different element. I think it's um something more holistic, something more whole and cohesive. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, we really appreciate you guys turning in and thank you so much for all of your support. <laughs> You can reach out to us and uh, rate, review, subscribe on all of our social media platforms, uh, YouTube, IGTV, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and um, definitely get in touch with us if you have any awesome topics that you'd like us to discuss. And we're on inthehousepodcast.com. Don't forget to, uh, if you have, haven't been able to tap into all our past episodes, um, be sure to um, catch up on some of the content that we are offering. Can't wait to explore what's coming up in 2022. We've had some really awesome guests um, in the past, and we're going to have way more more guests coming up. So looking forward to um, releasing those episodes out to you guys. 